Example. Draw an epicycloid of rolling circle 40 mm, which rolls outside another circle of 150 mm diameter for one revolution. Draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve. First, we need to calculate theta. We know that length of the circle is equals pi d or 2 pi r subtends an angle of 360 degrees. Given data small r equals 20 millimeters and capital R equals 75 millimeters. Theta equals small r by capital R into 360 degrees. We'll get theta equals 96 degrees. Step 1. Locate point O. Step 2. At an angle of 98 degrees. Draw two lines. Locate point P at a distance of 75 millimeters. O P equals R equals 75 millimeters. Step 3. O is center, draw an arc of major circle. From point P to second line. Locate point Q. Step 4. Radius R equals 20 millimeters. Draw a small circle above the major circle. Locate center C. Step 5. Divide the smaller circle into 12 equal parts. As shown. Locate points 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Step 6. O as center. Draw the arc through points 11 and 1 as shown. Do the same for 10 and 2, 9 and 3, 8 and 4, 7 and 5, and 6. Step 7. Draw one arc from center of the smaller circle. This arc is called locus of center. Step 8. In order to divide the arc P, Q into 12 equal parts. Draw a line from point or at an angle of 8 degrees. Which intersect with baseline of smaller circle and locus of center. Locate 1 dash and C1. Do the same up to 12 dash and C12. Step 9. R equals 20 mm. C1 is center. Draw an arc on. 11 and 1 line is shown. Locate P1. C2 is center. Locate P2. C3 is center. Locate P3. Do the same. Till P12. Join a smooth curve with free hand by joining the points P1 to P12. To draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve. Step 10. Take any line between 1-C1 to 12-C12. Let us take 8-C8 line. Step 12. C8 is center and radius R equals 20 millimeters. Cut the locus of center at the point M as shown. Step 13. Join M, 8 dash, extend, this line is called normal. Step 14. Draw a line perpendicular to normal. As shown, this line is called tangent. 